Well, she ain't the most seaworthy, but you can shoot iguanas from her. Call me for your next time. <laughs> Open bar, bar seven outfitters. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're down here in sunny Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I guess we're still in, considered Fort Lauderdale, right? That's it. We're not at the beach, though. We're floating the canals with the cowboy python. Python cowboy. You have to edit that. Golly. Mike down here. Already. Sammy. <laughs> Mike, Sammy, Nikki, and the star of the show, Otto. That's it. So we're down here today um, shooting iguanas, and then later tonight we're going to go into the swamp and try to catch some snakes. We'll go out into the Everglades and see if we can't catch some pythons. Yes, sir. Hopefully a state record. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I mean, Michael probably had have to pull me back and say, hey, this one's going to be mine, guy, but that's all right. Um, so we're out here today. I want you guys to know something real important about what we're doing. We're not just out here. I mean, we're having fun, but we're also doing a, a big service to the ecosystems, the NATO e native e ecosystems down here in, in Florida. And I'm going to let Mike, who's the expert, give you a little more information on what, why exactly we're doing this and what it's for. So, Yeah, um, you know, invasive species is a huge problem here in Florida, in particular the iguanas and the pythons that we'll be hunting later. But these iguanas, they're really uh, having a huge impact on our infrastructure. They cost our state millions and millions of dollars every year um, with the burrows they dig, the vegetation they eat, and uh, we have them undermining bridges, roadways, housing foundations, and it's definitely a big problem. They do have uh, negative effects on our native wildlife as well. And the area we'll be hunting today actually has some of that wildlife we'll be protecting. Uh, burrowing owls and gopher tortoise, both of which are threatened protected species here in Florida. So it's a big deal that these non-native critters are um, hurting their populations. So come along with us today. If you don't like seeing that kind of stuff, then you might want to flip to another, another one of our videos or go check something out for a little while. But if you want to see some fun, the most fun you can have with an air rifle on the, on the water, Today's the day to do it, and uh, so we're shooting. What kind of what kind of air rifles are these? These are uh, PCP air rifles made by Ed Gun, uh, and these are actually Python Cowboy Edition uh, Ed Gun Leshy Twos. Awesome. They are, from what I've seen, and I've used them all. These are the best air guns for out in the field removing animals, like we'll be doing today. So they're eight shot semi-automatic air rifles. They've got Bushnell scopes on them. Uh, or in a, this one's got a six scope on it, shooting 25 caliber pellets. Is that right? Yes, sir. And they're they're pretty awesome. We as soon as we got here, we've already got three in the boat before we even got to to shoot our uh, our intro right quick. So get a get a view of those. Got them cooling down. We got two goals on this trip, guys, or three, I guess. Number one is to do the Lord's work and clean up Florida. Number two is to get enough iguanas to make a pair of boots and hopefully get a python big enough to make a pair of boots out of. So I told Clance if he could catch a, a snake big enough that it, it would wrap around his foot and make a boot, we could get him a pair of boots made. So come along and let's have some fun. Got big goals. Let's do it. Get it stuffed? No, we're not stuffing them a scogie up. Cody. Yes, sir. Get him again. No, he's done. Get another one. Get you one, Bob. Nice shoot, oh. y'all. Nice shooting, y'all. <laughs> three ducks. Can you get all three in one mouthful? As a man, a tall black man. I there we go. All right, guys. So, not only are iguanas and pythons invasive species, but these are called what kind of ducks are these? Muscovy ducks. Muscovy ducks. So. <laughs> Mike was telling us that these were brought in as a as a livestock bird for people to eat and stuff like that, but they've just become they're introduced to the, the native ecosystem here, and they've become a nuisance. So part of his job also is removing these from the ecosystem. That way, it doesn't up disrupt everything. So we got three of them here so far, and and we're having a good hunt. It's a lot of fun. So y'all keep keep watching. Oh, it just hit just a little oh. bit low. Oh. He's definitely wounded. Bit of both, you know. Definitely, a lot of people have them as pets. They escape and they get set loose when they get too big. But they also make their way here. There's another big one right there. See his leg. Containers. Yep. Yes, we'll, we'll nose in here and try to get a shot this way on him. Maybe. I will. Eric, what are you waiting on? Well, Bob was gonna get him. Good job. 
See if somebody's a sniper. Is somebody nailing? Just showing you his head. Oh, a little high. Ah, auto. Yeah, that was damn close though. Just under his head. Ooh. I think that gun might be out here. Yeah, up here. By yeah, the collar. I, uh, I pull him in by the long so Right here in the front. Or on the side. Come here, auto. Hey, nailing. Oh. Dang it. I think y'all missed. And the base of the neck. I'm out. There it is. There it is. I we were not dead on on that one. We weren't dead on on that one. That is All for right, sure. Get that other one. Hit him in the base of the neck. Oh, that was it. Hopefully we don't have another Everglades shark in incident. Not awesome, but hope you are. We don't have that. At least we'll have it on video, right? As long as I know how to work a video camera, Cody. I think I got him right here. Oh yeah. All right. Leave no man behind. <laughs> That's how we do it. Nice one, guys. It's a beauty. Beautiful. This guy here. I don't know if this one's going to be out. That's nice. I'm seeing you come out like that. Get a picture of this. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, guys. So. We just got finished with our iguana hunt, and I, I would say it's pretty successful, but we're going to let Mike tell us for sure. But uh, looks like we've got about 24, 25 different lizards here. We've got this big, big, nice orange one here. A bunch of green ones. We got how many different species of lizards did we get here? We've got the. We got three different species of lizard. We got a Mexican spiny tail, a basilisk, uh, the green iguanas, but not just lizards. As we can see, we got uh, some Egyptian geese. Which and are white ones. And Muscovy ducks, which are the dark ones. And pi a pigeon as well, all and of which are invasive. So, all in all, it's been a super su successful on my part. I don't know. No, y'all y'all did awesome. Very yeah. good shooters. We had a great time. I really encourage you guys to look up Python Cowboy. And it's Martin, Martin County. Martin County Trapping and Wildlife Rescue on Facebook. Um, but if you guys want to come book a hunt, it's pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com. And, uh, you know, we do iguanas, hogs, gators, pythons, all the good stuff. Hopefully, 
hopefully we left enough for you guys if y'all want to come later on, but I no promises on that. So, but yeah, come see Mike and his guys, Otto. We got all good adventures. All good adventures back here with Nikki and Sammy. So great guides, great day out on the water. We got rained on, but that was fun. And uh, Mike went above and beyond. The last one that Erica shot, a big green one down here. He, he bailed off and got in the water and found it down on the bottom because it sunk. So awesome time. Now we're ready to go catch some snakes. That's it. I thought yeah. Erica shot all these. I did. That's all the that's all the footage you're gonna see. I so all, all videos don't lie. Yeah, <laughs> videos don't lie. All right. Don't fall in. <laughs> <laughs>